What's up guys, in this video, I'm gonna go over live in-game betting strategies and how you can almost ensure a guaranteed profit while you're watching the games, all right guys? So stay tuned. All right guys, I'm Frank with Linemaker Sports and we've been getting a lot of questions on in-game betting and how you can make money in-game betting and what you can do. So we're gonna go over a couple strategies. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it is when it comes to in-game betting. Make sure you comment down below if you guys ever in-game bet at all whatsoever. Make sure you guys comment down below. So now let's take it over to the whiteboard. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make money on in-game betting. All right guys, here we go. So in-game betting, I know you guys wanna learn about it. So what we're gonna go over in this video right now, what I'm gonna have to show you guys on this board is gonna consist of basically NBA and basketball because basketball is really the most important when it comes to betting in game now here's a couple examples here's just an example right now let's take uh let's say the knicks are playing the mavericks all right guys now let's say the point spread in this game just is let's say the mavericks are minus three all right so that means plus three here let's say the total on the game is 216 that's going to be your total for the game so this is before the game starts this is what we're this is what we got this is what we're looking at all right so Game starts, first quarter, Mavericks ain't looking so hot. Knicks take a, uh, let's say let's, let's say they take a set, about a seven point lead. All right, they take about a seven point lead halfway through the first quarter. Now these numbers are not gonna stay the same. Obviously the spread numbers, not gonna stay the same. They're gonna change. So if the Knicks are up by seven halfway through the first quarter, this number might actually go to, let's say, either plus one or plus two. So now what that means is, you took the favorite at the beginning of the game, and now you're getting them at underdog price, all right? So now at plus two, that's a five point swing right there. That's almost like a teaser swing. And uh, you know, on the other hand, you'd be getting the Knicks, let's say halfway through, like I said, halfway through the first quarter, let's say the Knicks are up by seven. Well, let's cross this out now, let's say they're minus two. Now you're getting bad, you're getting a bad number with the Knicks. As they started the game as an underdog and now they're a favorite, you never wanna do that. Never bet a team that starts out as an underdog and ends up being a favorite. Do never do that, never do that. What you always wanna look at is a team that starts out as a favorite and they end up being an underdog. When that happens, you wanna hit them. So let's say halfway through, like I said, Knicks are up by seven. Now you're getting a Mavericks at a number of plus two. Now that is a tremendous amount of value depending on what the game started at. It started at minus three, now you're getting them at plus two. Great value there. So you're gonna to wanna to snag it. You always wanna snag a team that started out as a favorite, ends up being an underdog midway through the game. Because in basketball, there are so many swings back and forth, so many runs that you will be able to get a favorite almost every time you'll be able to get a favorite as plus money, all right? So that'll happen a lot. Now, as in guaranteed money, you can somehow, when a game is this close, let's say the beginning, beginning line is minus three. When it's this close, your money line aspect, you can get both plus money throughout the game, depending on the runs. So the Knicks, like I said, halfway through are up by seven. Now you're gonna get plus money on a money line. You're gonna get plus money for the Mavericks. So they started out as minus. Now you're getting plus money on them. So let's say halfway through the first quarter, they're plus 130 now. So let's wrap them up. Let's say you took the Knicks before the game at plus three. Now that's plus 130 or one plus 120, whatever you want to say that that was at. Now, let's say you took this before the game, money line, Knicks plus three, you took them at plus 130 to win the game. Now you got Mavericks halfway through the first quarter, they're down, now you got plus 130 there. You put 100 on each side, now you had 100 on each side, you're guaranteed to make at least $30. Guaranteed, that's guaranteed money there, doesn't matter. And this happens at almost every NBA game that is minus three or lower. Any NBA game or college basketball game Minus three or lower, that is what you want to look for. Because there's going to be runs in the game, runs to where you can get both teams at plus money. You get both teams at plus money, you're guaranteed to make money. Guaranteed, all right? That's how that rolls when it comes to in-game betting. Now, let's go to the total. Total in this game was 216. Let's say halfway through, let's say halftime. Let's go to halftime already. Halftime, let's say they got a combined score. It's 55 to 55. It's 110. They got 110, it's probably gonna stay around the same thing going into halftime. It'll probably be a live bet of probably still about 216 or whatnot. 
Now, let's say they completely bomb the third quarter. They only score 20 apiece. So now this 216, then what it started at, probably will drop to about 200, all right? So now you're getting a massive value on this. Let's say they bomb the third quarter, you get massive value. You're getting a minus 16 right here. You're getting 16 point differential from what it started at. 16 point dif differential from what the opening number was at, I mean the closing number, excuse me. The, the closing number was at, you're getting a 16 point differential, which is massive. So what we do, take the over on that, obviously. Because sports books are never that much point, they are never 20 points off, 30 points off, never. So when you can get a huge differential like that, you're gonna wanna eat it up and you're gonna wanna take it. One thing you're never gonna wanna do though is take the under, let's say on this, when you could have got it at 216. You do not wanna make your, put yourself in a worse predicament of what you could have got on the closing number. You never wanna do that, all right guys? Never, that's never what you're gonna wanna do. Always try to get value, always try to make money. And like I said, when it comes to basketball, you can get guaranteed money if you get both teams live in betting at plus money. You can guarantee yourself a profit and on the totals, you can get massive point differential. Point spreads, same thing. You can get massive point differential. So always make sure. Lessons, guys, right here. Never bet a team that started out as an underdog and they end up being a favorite halfway through the game. Never bet them. Always bet the team that started out as a favorite ends up being an underdog somewhat through the game. All right? Because now you're getting huge value. There's no value in getting a team you could have got at plus three before the game started and getting them at minus two. There's no value. Zero. Zero value on that. I don't care how good the team is looking. There's zero value on that because closing number means everything. Closing number met Matt Mavericks were going to win by at least three. You got them at plus two. Guess what? They ended up actually winning the game by 10 and you got it at plus two. So look, just the value, guys, you gotta think. When it comes to this sports betting game, value is everything. Everything is value, remember that. All right, guys, remember that little slogan there. Value is everything. Another couple tips, guys, that I do wanna go over with you besides just this right here is you really gotta be on it, so you basically have to be watching the game or consistently updating that game on your phone because these lines change rather in 30 seconds. In basketball, they change almost every 15 to 30 seconds. So you have to keep refreshing and you have to keep knocking it in to get that number in. Now, how many times have I sat there and trying to get a number in and it keeps getting rejected, keeps getting rejected, keeps getting rejected, then you're finally getting in there. You have to keep going at it and going at it hard, keep refreshing, making sure you know, you, you're able to get the number that you want. And sometimes this is a casino surprise you. Sometimes you input a number that you wanted and it goes through and you ended up getting a confirmed number that was better than what you wanted. Sometimes that's happened, that's happened to me as well. So, you know, that's just a couple more things you wanna look out for when it comes to live in-game betting. There is a way to make a lot of money during the, during the game, and like I said, ensure a profit and guarantee yourself walking away with some cash. All right, guys, hopefully that video helped you out there and got you a little bit ready to go when it comes to live in-game sports betting. Now, make sure you guys do this. Make sure you guys like and subscribe it. Subscribe to the channel. Put us, make sure you're in your playlist because we're going to be pumping out videos left and right, like I told you. And make sure you guys subscribe. Very important. All right, guys, because we're going to get you on the right track to becoming a professional sports better and making money when it comes to sports betting. All right, guys, I'm Frank with Linemaker Sports. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.